Syrians, Lebanese and Iraqis, Palestinians and Egyptians, all Christians, all packed into one church in Brooklyn. Many of the people in these pews left their countries because they felt persecuted for belonging to the Middle East's ever-shrinking Christian minority. In 40 years, the percentage of Christians in the Middle East has dropped from 7.1% to 4.2% in 2010, according to the Center for the Study of Global Christianity. The Christian community in the Middle East is between a rock and a hard place, uh, where you have to deal with the political struggle, but also feeling as a second-class citizen sometimes. For example, as Palestinians, Christians, they leave Palestine because of the Israeli occupation. But also sometimes they are bothered as a Christian community living in Palestine by some fa Muslim fanatics, uh, and they are forced to leave the country. Pastor El Yatim, a Palestinian, was sent to America to minister to Arabs who had newly arrived. When the Arab immigrants come to Brooklyn, our community is very strong with the word of mouth. They start asking about a place where they can go to worship, but also where they can go and find some help. And people refer them to us. Home for this congregation is the upstairs floor of a church originally built by Norwegians in Brooklyn's Bay Ridge neighborhood. Pastor El Yatim's congregation is called the Salam Arabic Lutheran Church, but it includes many denominations, Copts, Chaldeans, Presbyterians, Maronites, and Greek and Roman Catholics. Many come here in need of legal and family services. Others are looking for somewhere they can pray in Arabic and be around people who empathize with them. I'm very for Shada and many others, this church is a place of safety, far from their dangerous homelands. The same is happening in Egypt. Afifa Solomon says that the fears her Coptic Christian relatives face there today are the same that led her to leave 31 years ago. After the service is over, the talk turns to Middle East politics, and there are arguments about this ruler or that regime. You see sometimes there's heated conversation about certain political issues, but we try to say, well, yes, you have your opinion, I have my opinion, we are here in the church and we should be thinking about what is our role as the church to work for justice and peace in the world. No matter how comfortable they feel in Brooklyn, most wait for the day their countries are stable enough to go back home.